I choose you from all others for my love. Sweet fruit tree growing wild within the thickets, I blossom in your shade and taste your love. Come with me, my love, come away. For the long wet months are past, the rains have fed the earth and left it bright with blossoms. Birds wing in the low sky, dove and songbirds singing in the open air above. Earth nourishing tree and vine, green fig and tender grape, green and tender fragrance. Come with me, my love, come away. Friend and lover chosen for my love. Stamp me in your heart, upon your limbs, sear my emblem deep into your skin. Those who think that wealth can buy them love only play the fool and meet with scorn. So I have found peace here with my lover. At its very best, that is what a marriage does for those who enter into it. The marriage provides shade for blossoming. It offers the opportunity for both of you to become more than you are today, so that your marriage will become more than the sum of its parts. It would seem logical that when we give ourselves away in love to another, that we would end up with less of ourselves. But the miracle, of course, is that just the reverse is true. Because to give yourself away in love to somebody else, as two people do in marriage, is perhaps to become for the first time fully yourself. To not just live for yourself alone, but to live for another self to whom you swear to be true is to become fully alive. And if you remember, I asked you to write a mission statement for your marriage, which of course Naomi did with no effort at all. <laughs> <laughs> but I was trying to get you to focus a bit on what, on what kind of marriage you want. And what you wrote, your vision for your life together, what you want this marriage to become, is a place where the two of you can continue to create space where you can communicate effectively and be honest with each other. A place of sacred trust. If you can do that, you will not just create safe space for each other, you will be creating holy space for each other, where each of your lives can blossom so that your marriage will indeed become more than the sum of its parts. And so today, you are in a way choosing to do something that seems illogical and yet is so very true. Both of you have the possibility to become more in this marriage and not less. Now this ceremony obviously will, create a relation, will not create a relationship that does not already exist and has not already been celebrated in all of the other commitments you have made to each other. And yet this ceremony will create something new. As you have come before God in this gathered community to add your yes to God's yes, this ceremony becomes a symbol of how far you have come together and a symbol of the promise that you will make to each other to continue to live your lives together and to love each other solely and above all others. Because from this day on, it will not be your love for each other that sustains your marriage. Rather, it will be this marriage, this covenant, that will sustain your love. Because marriage is more than your love for each other. Your marriage will impact others, and your marriage will impact the world. Therefore, I hope you fulfill your mission statement. I hope you fulfill your vision for your life together, so that your marriage will be a place where you can both become fully who you were meant to be, so that this relationship will spill over love and joy into the world and so make the world a better place. Before this moment, you have been many things to each other, friend, companion, even teacher, for you have learned much from one another in the time you have known each other. But from this day forward, you will have shared words that will take you across a new threshold of life, and things will never be quite the same between you. For after you speak your vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband. This is my wife. And so I would challenge both of you today that as you enter into this marriage, that you enter not into a contract, but into a covenant. Approach this covenant as a sacred challenge to go beyond the pursuit of personal gratification all the way to the adventure of a love that seeks to give or that wants to receive. You can do that.
I was shaking. This relationship, this love, this journey you begin today will continue to challenge you in ways that you could never imagine were possible. It will create for you true sanctuary, will provide for you the shade in which to truly blossom. May God bless you both. Amen. What? Naomi, will you have Trey to be your husband? And will you love him faithfully as long as you both shall live? Hi. Naomi and Trey, I now ask you to speak those promises that you have come to offer before God and this gathering. You and I met in a dark place, that place where everyone around you tells you that the light is somewhere at the end of that proverbial tunnel, that you must actively keep looking for it. But I fell in love with you because you were the only person to take my hand and the only person to offer to sit for a while. And that maybe it was okay to be without the light and that sitting in darkness was just fine sometimes. You've never rushed me through my process and approached my self-doubting, overthinking ways with patience and gentle pines. You believe in my abilities and I don't, and you push me to take larger steps in life when I'm too afraid to move. Today I came to trade you a promise for a last name, your last name, that in honor and maybe not so much reverence, <laughs> I plan on patiently signing out to everyone who can't pronounce it. <laughs> I promise to continue to trust you because you are capable of that trust, and promise to keep my own individuality, even as our ampersand continues to bond us. I promise to always try, even when I feel like giving up. I promise that I will continue to hold you to standards that you set for yourself. I remind both of us that I'm probably never going to be as great as long as you would like. <laughs> you push me to be the best version of myself, and I promise to push you back in the exact same way. I will open-mindedly challenge your choices and debate you over almost everything, all of the things. <laughs> I promise to be your no me. And I promise that you are enough. And for my last vow, I promise that in sunlight and shadow alike, all you have to do is reach for my hand, and mine will be there waiting for yours, reminding you that singing for just a little while is just fine. Awesome. <laughs> I 
give you this ring. Sure, I give you this ring. This is a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. I receive this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. Naomi and Trey, you have committed yourself to each other in this joyous and sacred covenant.